Hey friends, it's Kristen from Action Potential, and I wanted to share this video for those of you out there doing some awesome physical activity on how to stay safe by using a really good dynamic stretching program. And when you think about how you work out, it's really important to let your muscles and your body warm up and cool down. And a lot of people don't really know what a dynamic stretching program is or when to do it. So I wanted to kind of highlight what our usual recommendation is for the warm up. So when you do a warm up before physical activity, like let's say you're going to play pickleball or maybe you're going to go for a swim uh, or you're going to go out for a round of golf, uh, you want to start by just allowing your body to do some light aerobic activity like a jog, a walk, or jumping jacks. Certainly not all activities are going to lend themselves to, you know, have the opportunity to do this, but even something like if you were going to play golf, for example, maybe you just walk back and forth the parking lot a couple times just to kind of get your body moving um, and ready to participate. And then from there, you would go into the dynamic stretching routine, which we will talk about on the next slide. Um, but that dynamic stretching routine is the way that we're preparing your muscles to succeed with the activity that you're going to do. And this will certainly reduce your stiffness afterwards, as well as your risk for injury. After you do your activity, you wanna make sure that you allow your body to cool down just like you did um, allow it to warm up. So same thing, you're gonna reverse it. You're gonna do a little bit of light walking, um, maybe even um, a little bit of a jog if you're coming off of a high intensity task. And then you'll actually go into a static stretching program, which we really aren't gonna cover in this video, but just keep in mind that a static stretching program is holding positions for longer periods of time. And you particularly want to do this in the key muscle groups that you're using for that activity. So for example, if you're playing tennis, maybe just holding that arm across your body this way, for about 30 seconds would be a nice static stretching routine. We can cover that in a later video if anyone is interested in that. However, today's focus is gonna be predominantly on the dynamic stretching program. So most people don't know what this is. Um, essentially a dynamic stretching program is a way to prepare your muscles to get ready for physical activity. Um, if anyone's ever been to a sporting event like an Eagles game or a Phillies game, and you see the athletes out on the field and they're doing all these very ballistic movements, that's an example of a dynamic stretching routine. It has three major roles. Uh, one is we wanna increase blood flow to the muscles. And what that's gonna do is allow those muscles to heat up and get all of the oxygen and nutrients that it needs in order to perform in the physical task. The second thing is it's gonna increase the flexibility of those muscles. So we wanna make sure that those muscles are really loose so that as we go into our physical activity like tennis or golf, or you know, maybe it's paddling on, on a canoe, um, those muscles are flexible and they're able to get into all of the positions that they need to. And then lastly, the benefit of the dynamic stretching routine is that it's going to very closely simulate the activity that you're gonna do. So the one that we'll share today is a very general dynamic stretching program, but I encourage you if you are participating in a specific task, reach out to us via email and we can give you some suggestions for a couple exercises to do to specifically prepare you for whatever your task is. In addition to the benefits to the muscles, we're also going to see that there's going to be benefits to the rest of the body, namely increasing your heart rate so that your heart is able to keep up with the physical activity and really prepare. And then also, and probably the main reason to do this is because there is much research out there that shows a dynamic stretching program will reduce your risk for injury. Mostly that's because of the benefits we already discussed, um, but essentially we want to allow that body to not go into an activity cold turkey. So here you'll see some of our favorite dynamic stretching tasks. Um, you'll see in the top left here, this is a hamstring kick. Essentially, you're going to stand and you're going to kick your foot out and touch it with the opposite hand. And then you're going to alternate to the opposite side. When you're doing this, if you can't quite reach your foot, you absolutely can kick and touch your knee. The idea here, though, is that we're allowing those legs to kick up one at a time to stretch the muscle in the back of the leg, which is the hamstring. In contrast to that, the one on the top right is the quadricep stretch. Um, most people do this as a static stretch, but what I advise is to do this a little bit more dynamically. So essentially you're gonna grab your foot behind you and you're gonna tug on that 
foot to really stretch the front part of the knee. And then you'll let that leg go back down. So it's not a hold, it's just a brief tug and then a release. When you do this, you wanna be really mindful to keep your knees together so that they're not really wide. So just like this picture shows, the knee should be in line with the hips, not way out to the side. Um, and you're gonna alternate by tugging on each side reciprocally so that we're getting that stretch in the front of the quadricep. For an upper body activity like tennis or golf, um, pickleball, things like a hugger is gonna be a really great warm up dynamically. And essentially with this one, you're gonna spread those arms really wide and then bring them across your body like you're giving yourself a hug and then alternate and switch which arm is on top. And as you do this, you're moving in a pretty good pace so that you get both the stretch of the chest, but also the full wrap of the arms. The next stretch is my favorite. Um, it's actually called the world's greatest stretch. Um, and essentially with this one, you're going to lunge so that your one leg is forward and the back leg is straight. You're gonna have both hands down on the ground in front of you in that lunge. And then you're gonna lift one of those arms up, the one that is closest to the bent knee. And you're gonna lift that all the way up towards the ceiling as you gently lift your gaze towards the ceiling. This is gonna really open up the hip muscles as well as loosen the spine. Fantastic stretch for golf, um, as well as any type of a racket sport where there's gonna be a lot of twisting through the body. Um, so I really highly recommend this one as a way to really top to bottom loosen that whole body. The other one here is a side lunge. Essentially, you're going to lunge yourself to the side so that you feel a stretch on the groin of the straight leg. And then you're gonna pivot yourself over to the other side so that you feel the stretch in the opposite leg. You can do this just statically in position, or you can add a little side shuffle and progressively do this in one direction and then switch and do it in another direction. Either way, the purpose of this one is to help open up the groin to allow you to have good hip mobility for things like lunging to grab a ball, or again, for sports like golf or pickleball. With all of these exercises, you wanna perform about 10 to 15 repetitions on each side. And since we're moving rather quickly, the entire program of these five exercises can be accomplished in just as little as five minutes, um, if not less. Um, the idea is that we're quickly moving through the exercises um, as well as giving our bodies a bunch of variability of movement before we go into our activity. Certainly there are plenty more dynamic stretches out there and we highly encourage you to reach out to us if there's a particular task that you're interested in understanding what dynamic stretches would be most beneficial. But essentially we want to get the word out that you really can prepare yourself to succeed with all of your physical tasks and reduce your injury by doing a dynamic stretching program beforehand. If you'd like to download the dynamic program that I've included in today's presentation, check out our website at reachyours.com backslash athlete, and you'll find a free downloadable PDF of the exercises we discussed. Reach out via email if you have any questions, and best of luck out there this season.